Coach, uh, you start uh, the preseason with a win, 31-22 here in Hamilton with a young roster. Your thoughts on what you saw here today? Well, uh, uh, so, you know, saw some good things, uh, some bad. You know, a lot of stuff we gotta clean up. You know, I think um, offensively started a little bit slow, slower than we would have liked. And uh, but again, you know, new offense, uh, new, new coordinator. Uh, what I did like is in the second half, our responders started quick in the second half, and then have all three phases. You know, did some some good things. Um, so long way to go, but there are certainly some uh, flashes. What did you make of uh, the performance from your two quarterbacks that have experience in this league and uh, both uh, Drew Brown and Dustin Brown? Oh, you know, I think uh, I, I was happy with both of them. You know, I think, uh, like you said, young group, uh, they had a young group in front of them. Um, and I think they made some good decisions. You know, we just uh, weren't able to connect on some things. Uh, both of them, you know, I thought Dusty, you know, uh, did a good job uh, when he came out, I think, in the second half. I mean, a little bit of extra time in the first half to adjust. But I, I was happy with Drew, uh, you know, and with regards to his reads and stuff like that. Uh, I thought he ran the offense well. You know, there were just a few things that happened that uh, we weren't successful on first down, which really put him in a situation where we were looking for long yardage on second down. And that's tough on anybody. You know what Devontae Dedman can do when healthy, but how encouraged were you to see uh, that that return, you know, kind of the old Devontae Dedman here today? Um, you know, I knew they'd call him the old, the old Devontae Dedman. He, to me, he's always been the same guy. You know, he's, he's had a couple of injuries, but so that doesn't surprise me at all. And, um, he's a uh, dynamic player. He's been a dynamic player since uh, he came up here in 2019. So no surprises on that. It was, but I was very happy for him because, uh, you know, he's a hard worker and uh, he's a good leader on our team. And uh, to see him, you know, not only that, but have a strong kickoff, uh, second kickoff return, bounce back from the first one they put on the, put on the ground. So uh, happy for him in that regard. Anything stand out to you on defense? <clears throat> well, really, again, I'm going to talk about the whole defense. I, I, I thought that... Uh, when it was uh, pressure time, they, they did a good job. But uh, you know, there's opportunities there to get off the field in other third down situations where we didn't. And uh, we, we have to just make sure that uh, we're playing the situation correctly. And when we have those opportunities that can make game changing plays, you know, they did it in the second half when, when they stopped them on third down. We have to make them every single time. You know, I, I thought the front played well for the most part, and I thought the linebackers were active. You know, I think um, there's really some real, real promising things in there. Finally, have you seen Cormier take a step this year? One hundred percent. You know, um, you know, we asked him to put on some weight, and he, he did that. And and now you you know you can see it in his play. You know, this is what the preseason is really good for is to see uh, Lucas in true contact situations. You know, anytime you get him moving a guy from the secondary to the line of scrimmage, um, you're really not going to know how he's going to fit in until uh, until his true game. So you know, we'll watch the film, but. Most definitely, real real progression in Lucas, and you know we obviously uh, have high hopes for him. And uh, he's such a hardworking kid. I know uh, he'll do whatever he can to make sure that we realize those things. Coach, appreciate the time. Congrats on the win. Thank you very much. First preseason game for you here in 2024. How did it, did it feel to be back out there? Uh, felt good. Uh, felt like it was a long time off, so it was good to kind of get out there and just feel getting hit again and, and all that. And it's just the best part of the game. To me. What did you think of your performance here today? Uh, definitely a lot, of, a lot of things to clean up. Um, some things where I felt like I, I uh, showed some growth in some ways, but definitely a lot of things to clean up. So excited to kind of take a look at the film and um, see what see what we can attack to get better this week. Where do you feel like you've grown in the, in the off season or, or from last year to this year? Uh, I would say just uh, probably just, just you understand the pace of the game a little bit better, um, having that experience, recognizing coverages, and understanding intensive plays a little bit. Um, I think Coach Condell's done a great job uh, helping me with that. Um, rec like I said, recognizing coverages, understanding why we're calling plays when we're calling them, uh, and understanding what kind of looks we want into, into those plays. What's it been like working with uh, Tommy? Uh, it's been awesome. He's he's he's, uh, he's definitely a ball guy. He loves it. So getting to getting to work with him's been so much fun. He's like I said, he's he's helped me grow tremendously just the last couple of weeks. So I'm excited to kind of see where where it takes me. 
in that quarterback room? I mean, you got two guys that are still not 100%, but yeah. between you and Drew, how, how has that been so far? Oh, it's been awesome. Drew's helped me so much. He's he's only in year four, but he, he sees the field extremely well. He, he learned a lot from Zach and um, while he was over there, and he's extremely knowledgeable of the game up here and coverages and um, just what the championship culture and things look like. Um, so being able to kind of pick his brain constantly, it's been a, a great back and forth, and uh, except being able to kind of uh, soak up everything from him as well as continuing to learn from the What was the mindset for you coming back this year, knowing that they brought in Drew and uh, just – what was kind of your thought process? Uh, I, I mean, you can't really let it affect you. Um, I mean, like, obviously, everyone knows I came in last year as a fourth string, and at the end of the day, as a professional athlete, especially a quarterback, you have to kind of handle your business the same, no matter what your role on the team is, where you're on the depth chart, you kind of have to just attack each day the same way and try to get better. Um, so when your number is called, you're ready to go. Um, and I think it's also important for, as a quarterback, to kind of understand um, what your teammates need as well. It's not just um, at the end of the day all about all about you in any way. So just being able to kind of be there, help guys out, whether it's something I picked up last year, like helping Jake or something, hey, this is something I learned from last year, helping Drew or whatever. It's just kind of constantly being able to have that back and forth with each other and grow. Dustin, I uh, appreciate the time as always. Thank you. Thank you very much.